Today, I'm releasing a fully updated guide on how to build full stack apps the easiest and cheapest ways possible using powerful AI tools and open source alternatives without writing a single line of code. We'll begin with Super Design, a local first open source UI design agent that will help you create and refine production ready components using cutting edge or local large language models, all while keeping your data private. Then we'll update your app and build it using Cursor. This is a premium AI IDE with deep code base understanding. Or VS Code plus Klein could be an option, which is free, open source, and it's also an autonomous coding agent that can edit, files, run terminal commands, and solve real world coding tasks using top tier large language models. For authentication and payments, we'll use auth.js, which handles secure user auth with support for providers like Google, GitHub, and many others. Stripe for the payment gateway, but for the infrastructure to make it super simple and scalable, we're going to be using MongoDB Atlas, which is going to host your database with a free tier included. Then we're going to use Vercel to deploy both front-end and back-end serverless functions. And then the MongoDB MCP, which is going to be the control plane, help build back-end endpoints without complex DevOps. By the end of this video, you're going to have a full stack application fully generated with the help of AI with no sort of code involved. So let's get started. Make sure you have all the prerequisites fulfilled. If you're going to be using cursor, simply go ahead and download it for whatever operating system you have. Then once you have this installed, you're going to need to make sure that you have super design installed as well. This is something that you can install as an extension. Just head over to the install guide, or you can go over to the marketplace and then you can install it within this. But what you can also do is if you're going to be using the free version, where you're going to be using Klein as an autonomous coding agent, you can install VS Code as your IDE. And within VS Code, you can install Klein. This is an extension that I'll leave a link to in the description as well, which you can easily install through the marketplace. Or you can simply just go over to the extension store, search up Klein, and click on install. Oh, and if you're going to be using the Klein plus VS Code alternative, simply also go ahead and install Super Design as an extension. The VS Code. To power the coding agents, you have a couple of different providers. You can use Anthropic so that you can use the Cloud for Opus or Sonnet, but if that's too expensive for you, you can use GLM 4.5 or Kimi K2, which are pretty exceptionally well at agentic coding. Now, say if you do not have the budget, you can use free APIs from Open Router. This is where they actually provide uh, APIs for models like Kimi K2, which is on par with Sonnet in certain areas. Now for the backend hosting as well as the database, simply go ahead and create an account completely for free with MongoDB with the link in the description below where you can sign up using my referral and get a free cluster. This is where they offer this uh, free cluster which gives you storage, it gives you shared RAM as well as the vGPU. So go ahead and set this up and then we'll then connect it to our app afterwards. We're also going to be installing the MongoDB MCP server that it is easy for the AI to start chatting as well as retrieving information from our MongoDB host. Also have auth.js on standby because we're going to be using this to set up the authentication and then have Stripe set up as well. This is your payment gateway to collect payments for whatever app that you're trying to build. So let's get started. First things first, I want you to first open up VS Code or if you're going to be using Cursor, simply go ahead and open that up. And what I want you to do is open up Super Design. This is where you want to first go ahead and create your folder and open it up with Super Design and then go over to settings and set your API key for whatever provider you're using. I'm using Anthropic, but if you're going to be using a local model, you're going to need to configure that in the back end. But you can also use Open Router and access the free model here. Once that is done, describe the front end design that you want to create with super design in this case i'm creating a financial app so i want it to be minimalistic and i'm going to be also providing context so that it's able to reference and create designs based off of that now you can exactly do the same thing within cursor if you're going to be using that but i simply described that i want to create a finance manager dashboard app and it has now used by different requirements like the color palette including the modern icons and it has created the layout design. Now, if you want to change this, you can tell it that I don't like this design and I want to iterate on it further, but I'm going to go ahead and say proceed with this design. And now it's going to create 
multiple variants within the super design canvas to generate a highly intuitive and interactive dashboard which we can then send over to the AI agents to start building the functionality for afterwards. So right now it has now selected the theme for our app. These are the accents as well as the color schemes and the UI components are listed over here. If you like this, you can then proceed forward. I definitely like it. So I'm going to go ahead and tell it to continue. And it looks like we have the first iteration of our design. There are certain components that have been already generated. Now, what you can do is you can actually create more variants of this with different color palettes. And then if you want to add more features, you can definitely do so over here. But now, if you do like this scheme that it has created, we can then proceed forward with the AI coding agent to work on developing the next components. Essentially, once you are ready with the design iteration that it has worked on, you can then leave this over here and then connect this with our agent so that it can reference this front end to start building on the next component, which is the back end. This is where now I can go back into something like cursor or Klein, which I'll showcase both of, where I can simply head over to the cursor settings. And then now I can go and create my own custom rule. Within this custom rule, it's just going to be a descriptive way for the AI agent to reference all the different components of what it needs to do. This is where I have specifically told it to build an AI finance app that is going to be connecting all the components like Stripe, MongoDB. This is where I'm also going to showcase the next step where we're going to need to connect the MCP server so that it references our cluster. It is also going to reference auth.js, our database, and also all the features that I wanted to work on. Be as descriptive as possible because the AI agents are going to fall through with this full on guide on building your app. And once you have provided this, what you can then do is go into the composer chat. You can open this up by heading over to the view and then opening up the composer. This is where I'm simply telling it that you are an autonomous AI pair programmer. Here's my tech stack and I'm building this front end or this finance manager app, sorry. And this is where I'm also telling it to make sure that you follow cursor rules. And if you want, you can add context to wherever you had saved the components for super design, the front end components that you generated with it, as well as cursor rules. So if you want, you can simply go ahead and tag it within the composer chat so that it can reference it. Now next, head over to your cursor configurations, go over to tools and integrations, and then add a new MCP. This is where you're going to be adding the MongoDB configuration files. And then you're going to also need to make sure that you add your connection string. If you don't know how to do this, just simply ask AI. It will also enable it to, and showcase how you can set this up. And then just simply paste it within the JSON file, click file, and then click save. Then you can close this. And then you can also close the cursor settings. And then now after you have provided the reference to the finance app that has all the components generated by super design, you can then also reference cursor rules so that it follows the, all the in-depth analysis or rules or structure that we want the AI to follow. And then you can simply just go ahead and click enter. And this is where it's going to start building out the full stack finance manager app all on its own. It's where it's referencing our files using MCPs and building all these components all on its own. And obviously, as it develops each page or as it develops each line, you can reference all the components and then you can see if it's actually doing a correct job with each step. And if you want to keep it, just simply click on keep. But if there's a certain section that you don't like, you can request a review back into cursor. Now, if you're using the free option within Klein, it's super simple as well. Head over to the settings for the API provider, choose whatever provider you want. You have more flexibility here. You can use open source models as well, provide the API key, and then head over to the MCP servers and then configure MCPs and then do the exact same thing that I had mentioned over here, but this time for VS code. So simply go ahead, ignore the GitHub Copilot part, so simply go ahead and configure the VS Code uh, MCP, and then you can go back into VS Code, paste it in over here, click Save, and click Done, and then create an MD file. And this is where you're going to name it Client Rules. And then what you want to do is you want to simply provide the same sort of rules that you did for Cursor to your AI agent. 
So simply provide that same breakdown of what you want the AI agent to build. And then afterwards, you can ask client to reference that exact build, plus also having it reference the super design components so that it uses and references the front end components that super design built. And then it starts building out the application for you. But you can see how easy it is. This is where it is creating the API route for the dashboard, the Stripe integration, as well as the checkout API route. It does it all. It configures everything, all the components that you need, and while also referencing the front end rules that we had provided. What I want you to do in the meantime, create your actual cluster with MongoDB. And once you have done so, it's super easy to connect because you can just get the connection string you can then have it select the driver and the version based off your app, install the driver, and then you can connect it using this string. This is where after your AI coding agent has finished configuring and building out your front end, as well as connecting the back end, it is going to create an ENV file. And this is where you're going to be able to connect the string to this environment variable file. You're going to need to simply provide that string over here. And then you can configure things like the next auth.js, provide your secret key as well as the Google OAuth so that you have the ability to use that as an authentication for your app. In the same manner, also connect your Stripe secret key if you're gonna be using that as a payment gateway. And once that is done, you can close this and click file and click save. But in this case, it looks like it has now finished generating our app. And this is where I didn't do anything, any sort of code, it built it all on its own. And now I can install the dependencies set up the variables and then run the deployment server in three easy steps and then navigate to the local host to take a look at it. And there we go. We have a landing page that it also generated, which is where it talks about what our finance tracker app is about. It has a pricing tier as well, which we'll take a look at because we have connected it to Stripe, but we can now click on get started, which will then prompt us to this authentication system, which is linked thanks to the help of next.js, having it connected to the Google OAuth. Afterwards, it's gonna then send us over to the main dashboard after you have logged in, which you can see I have named it test. You also have this ability to then access the same sort of design that we had replicated with super design. This is where you have the ability to manage your recent transactions. There's animations, all that were developed with the help of super design. You can manage your transactions individually. You can add transactions as well, income and expenses. This is a really basic app that I'm talking about, but it gets the job done. And guys, what's also really cool is that, see if I'm gonna click on try free for 14 days, it takes me over to this page where I can start a free trial, it talks about the pricing plan, but it then has it connected to the Stripe uh, connection that I had set with the help of Cursor. And you can see that this is actual functional Stripe payment gateway that has been integrated to my app. Now, all I got to do is just simply have this app hosted with Versal. Obviously, there's a couple things that I can refine to make it better, but you can see that I was able to develop this full stack application quite rapidly. That is how easy it is to work with AI to build almost anything. And now with our MongoDB cluster, you have real-time analytics where you have the ability to see everything that's going down. You can manage your database. You have an Atlas search. So it's easy for you to work with the data that has been accessed and indexed through MongoDB itself. What's also nice is that since we have set up the MongoDB MCP, we can reference our database where we can start chatting within the AI coding agent and it's able to make references to our world of AI database that we have created completely for free. Lastly, I'm not going to go too in depth on this, but you can use Vercel to then deploy your AI app that we just created while having it connected to our backend system. And that way you can create this fully functional AI application within minutes. But essentially, thanks to these amazing tools, we are able to build such amazing apps. So I highly recommend that you try out this tech stack, which will help you build full stack apps quite easily. And obviously, if it's not the real deal, it's going to help you at least prototype your app, which is going to be a great step forward. So I'll leave all these links in the description below so that you can easily get started. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the second channel. Join our newsletter as well as our private Discord. Follow me on Twitter. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe. Turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there's a lot of content 
that you'll truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.